Shalom, shalom. All right, All right before I get started, uh, so I can. All right, before I get started, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakudash, the modest to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that rule well, peace and salutations to the icon that's pushing this word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. This is the brother Zayan Amaf for the gym, Mr. Trip by Camp. Um, doing another video, you know, dealing with uh, MLK since it's so called Black History Month, right? you know, so called, you know, which by the way, you shouldn't want to be called black, right? There's no such thing as black people, as well as no such thing as white people, right? You got people of color, and then you have the red people, which was the red people that lack melanin. All right, which is Esau, people of color, right? Dealing with the so-called Negroes, last and Native Americans, they're Israelites, all right? So um, just real quick, dealing with this guy, MLK, right? Because everybody wants to, uh, uh, um, you know, big up um, MLK for his speech and, you know his 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 goodly words that that he he um, gave you know concerning his speech, but when you read through it or go through the quotes as as I'm gonna do here, you show that this could not have been a man of the Lord because he's speaking things that's um, adverse to the scriptures. You know he's speaking against the word of the Lord. All right, so he could be a man of the Lord because men of the Lord are going to, uh, one, break down the Bible precept upon precept, right? And we're going to rightly divide the word of truth, right? We're going to we're gonna bring out the Bible the correct way, all right? And things that, that the men of the Lord say are going to line up with the scriptures, right? It's not going to be, like I said, verse or against the scriptures, dream speech all right so let's just see let's see if these things you know line up with the scriptures or not all right it says i'm starting at one it says i say to you today my friends that in spite of the difficulties and frustrations of the moment i still have a dream okay say i have a dream that one day that one day right there in Alabama little black boys and little black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers now he already going off <laughs> he going off right from the get go alright and, hey, you see, this is a dream, but hey, this is not a dream. This is not a dream or vision set for the Lord, all right? Because the Lord didn't mean or want um, the nations to come together, to join hands together, all right? The Lord made a, dis a division, all right, between, between the nations, simply put. But uh so like it one second, man, for sure. Okay. But simply put, all right, we, we can cut that right now. This is uh let's see. Let's get it in Proverbs. This is Proverbs eleven and twenty one. It says, Though hand join in hand, the wicked should not be unpunished. Who's the wicked? The wicked. All right, 
as a whole race, as a nationality, is the so-called white man. All right. He's 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 um dubbed as the wicked in the scriptures. All right. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. All right. So. Again, like I say, he's already going off little uh, black boys and little black girls joining hands. All right. So if you are to join hands, all right, even in, in this day, in this time, you join hands with these so-called white people as far as, you know, befriending them. All right. Following after their ways, you know, keeping their customs by way of keeping these phony holidays and whatnot, so-called holidays. All right. You know, uh, Christmas and New Year's and Thanksgiving and, you know, all the shit that America has to offer, right? You're going off. You're going against the scriptures because the Lord did give us those days as holy days, all right? Those are not our customs. We have our own customs and heritage, all right? So let's see what else. It says, now is the time to rise from the dark and desolate valley of segregation to the sunlit path of racial justice. See, we would not be satisfied till justice rose down, rose down like waters and righteous like a mighty stream. I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Now, see, he's speaking from a perspective of that this can happen basically here in America. He's asking for freedom in America. Which is not going to happen, all right? It, it'll never happen, right? Because we were brought here in captivity. We were brought here to uh, to be held captive, all right? To base to learn from our mistakes, all right? Because we went off as a nation, all right? Against our power, against the Most High, Yahweh, all right? Why? Because the Lord basically gave us a, a, a covenant. Which is an agreement, you know, of things we would, uh, things we would do and things we wouldn't do, you know, basically doing right by the Lord, right? And and Israel as a nation went off, you know, time and time again to the point that the Most High had to chastise us. He had to correct us, right? And he basically used, all right, our wicked uh, twin brother, our big brother, all right, Esau. To be the whooping stick, to be um, that corrective action, you know. Um, let's see, a script I was just thinking of. Uh, yeah, kind because of, like I said, we've been brought here, you know, to serve captivity, to serve a captivity, you know. Let's see. Kind of, this is um, Baruch 4 and 6. It says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because ye moved the Most High to wrath, ye were delivered unto the enemies. All right? So, hey, we in the hand of the so-called white man right now. So what would that make him to us? That would make him an enemy. All right? He's not our friend. Right, he's not doing things to uh to uplift our people or anything like that, and never and he would never do so, you know. Or he may he may say he's gonna do this and that, but hey, you gotta remember he's the devil. So let's say whatever sounds good, you know. But this devil is set up as the whooping stick of Israel. Matter of fact, right? This is um. This is Psalm 17. Let's see, where is it? Okay, this is Psalm 17 and 13. It says, Arise, O Lord, disappoint him. Cast him down, deliver my soul, so like it, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword, right? So the wicked, 
right? Just to prove that. Just to back it all the way up. So the, the wicked is the sword of the Lord, right? Like I said, they're that corrective action. But who is the wicked? To be specific, all right? This is Malachi. Uh, I start one and one. It says the burden of the word, the burden of the word of the Lord to Israel by Malachi, I have loved you, saith the Lord. Yet ye say, where hast thou loved us? All right? The Lord loves Jacob. All right? It says, would not Esau Jacob's brother, saith the Lord? Yet I love Jacob, and I hated Esau, and laid his mountains and his heritage waste. For the dragons of the wilderness. Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build the desolate places. Thus said the Lord of hosts, They shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness, and the people against whom the Lord hath acted nation forever. Okay. So the people, all right. Dealing with Edom is the border of wickedness, right? So they're the wicked, right? And we've been giving it to the hand of the so-called white man by the Heavenly Father, like I say, to be corrected, you know? And in the process of all this, you, you're still going to have two-thirds of our people that's not going to um, get with the program, you know? They they can't be fixed. They can't, they can't get right, you know? So because of that, the Lord has to put that final stamp, you know, and he's just going to obliterate two-thirds of our people by way of uh, thermonuclear fire, you know, ultimately. Um, just going back to this uh, so-called I Have a Dream speech, the quotes, all right? It says, let's see, I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up and live out the true meaning of its creed. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. <laughs> yeah, when that was written, he, Jake wasn't, uh, they didn't have Jake in mind, all right? He, Jake was it was uh, not even a thought, all right? When the so-called, uh, what they call it, the Bill of Rights and the Declaration of Independence and all that stuff was, was drawn up, all right? At the time that stuff was was uh, was created, all right, you had Jake and slavery, all right. You know we we were looked at looked at as as till this day, you know, as the um, non desirables, you know. All right, basically these other nations they just tolerate us for what we can do, you know, what we can uh, do for them, all right. But as far as uh, but as far as, you know, basically if we didn't uh, promote this economy, you know, then shit, they, they wouldn't have nothing to do with us, you know, because, hey, that's the thing with, you know, rulership, you know, you kind of almost have to have to have poverty because who's going to do the dirty work, you know? These elites, they're not going to sit up and, you know, build up this this country. They did this on the, the back, okay? The blood, sweat, and tears of the Israelites, right? The Israelites is what made America great, right? Not, nobody else, you know? So, but to the point, you know, they're not going to... It's never going to be a time, okay, <laughs> All right, that... um. Esau looks at the so-called Negroes, Latins, and Latins, and Native Americans as equal. That'll never happen, right? Because the, the Most High, He created that animosity that it'll never be so, you know? And basically, Esau, he's jealous, right? He's basically just jealous that we have the birthright, right? We have the birthright of ruling in the kingdom of heaven. Right, and basically Esau, he's he's feeling better that he's made such a, a terrible, you know, uh, uh, mistake, if you will. But hey, the beauty is, hey, we got it, you know, we got the birthright, you know, and none of these 
other nations can have an option of uh, taking it back or, you know, obtaining it. So, hey, the most High, he's being merciful. He's being fair and allowing all these other nations to rule, to have their chance to rule. All right. But now we're coming into the time of of Jacob. All right. Of of the Israelites. All right. The true people of the Lord ruling. All right. And we're going to rule forever and ever. All right. So just to read on, pick up a few other points here. Let's see. This is a, uh, let's see, it says, I have a dream that one day on the Red Hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will be able to sit down together at a table of brotherhood. That's madness. <laughs> and and that's, that's the vibration of that is let bygones be bygones. And you have a lot of our people that have this, uh, beta male type mentality you know just to let shit go right the lord ain't let nothing go the lord hey, this is vengeance in the lord's heart all right he ain't let nothing slide he ain't let nothing pass right the lord is just letting everything just build up you know to the point hey to 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 the lord is just totally fed up and then he gonna let Esau and these other heathen nations right get what's coming to him alright let's see it says now is the time to make justice a reality for all God's children see see the only children of the most high are Israelites alright everyone is not God's people alright matter of fact this is um this is Joel too in twenty seven it says and ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel and that I am the Lord your God right see the Lord is being specific right it says and none else and my people should never be ashamed. Okay. So the, the Lord is a power for Israel, right? He's the power source for Israel. He's not dealing with any other nation, right? So this is another false statement from this guy. And like I say, just all these quotes, right, go against the scriptures, go against what the scriptures say, right? That's why we say, you know, Christianity. They don't have the truth, and they don't know what's going on. Right? A lot of people in these churches, they're not reading their Bible, and if they do, right, it's clear they don't have the understanding because what they think they know, right, that understanding comes from the so-called white man, right, going back to the slave Bible and to the, uh, the plantations, right? All that stuff that these fake Christians think they know Right, it come, it, it goes way back, you know, shoot, three, four hundred years ago, to where basically you were told what to believe, you know, from Esau's perspective. Right, that's why a lot of our people worship and believe in, you know, that that white image of so-called Jesus or whatever. Right, that ain't the truth. Right, the name of our Lord. Right, the Savior is Yahushai. Right, the name of his father is Yahweh. So, you know, I just want to pick up a few points, you know, from this uh, MLK quotables, you know. But uh, this guy definitely didn't have the truth, and that's why the Lord, hey, he put him out, he put him out of his misery, you know. So, hey, Lord willing, you know, this was um, edifying with that. You know, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders, a great millstone that root well, peace and salutation to the Ikeman that's pushing his word in truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. Shalom.